Hey the YouTubers, this is uh, Jill coming back at you again. Um, I'm just trying this again for the, I think the fourth time, I think it's working right now. I'm actually recording sound and video at the same time, so that's great. So uh, it's been a few weeks now since my last update, and um, actually about two weeks or so I guess. So I just want to give you uh, uh, just a summary about what I've been doing the last few weeks. Um, Marion and I went on vacation, so that's why I got this tan. I've been, and uh, I look so relaxed. Uh, we've uh, been away. We went to a place called uh, uh, East Hampton, uh, New York, and uh, it's out here on the um, Long Island. It's part of Long Island, and uh, so it's a place that we've been going to. Um, the last few years, it's a great, uh, lazy kind of vacation spot, get lots of sun, um, and uh, there's shops and restaurants, and so we, we just rented a room for a few days and went out and just chilled out for um, a bit, and it was very relaxing, except that, uh, unfortunately, I got a relapse of that upper respiratory infection that I had a couple of weeks back and so the first day or so I was really miserable I was really uh, really feeling lousy uh, but um, I got to see a doctor out there and then he got me some meds and then after that then I was fine I was, I was, I was doing much better with the with the meds and everything and uh, other than that let's see what else is going on um, oh well today um, We've been back, actually, we got back yesterday, and then today I uh, got cleaned up a little bit and got back my uh, roots here in New York City, and uh, so I thought I would dress, so I dressed up today a little bit uh, with a lot of hand-me-downs. Uh, this um, outfit I'm wearing um, is mostly things that I've acquired, uh, you know, from other people, a lot of the... Uh, supportive people in my life. Uh, these jeans, my daughter gave me these jeans. She was going through some clothes yesterday. She's living with me right now uh, while she's on a summer break from school. And uh, so she's throwing out a lot of clothes and she says, oh dad, you know, maybe you could use a couple of uh, these clothes. I have some tops and she has some dresses and tops and jeans. Uh, right now I'm not too much into dresses. I, I have a lot of dresses that I bought and I do have a lot of clothes that I bought, but uh, I think that's kind of, it's kind of like one of the perks having uh, so many, uh, um, you know, supportive uh, women in my life, I guess you might say, between my girlfriend, my stepdaughter, and my two daughters. Um, I get a lot of, uh, they're, they're always willing to give me a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, and this is Marion's top. Uh, so I went out today, and, um, um, and uh, I did really good. I, I was doing really, really well today, just going out, just to... Uh, um, I went to a uh, place called Home Depot. And uh, those of you who are not in the States, probably not familiar with this store. It's like a big, mega hardware store. And uh, they cater mostly to, you know, how it's people like contractors and, you know, people that are handy, handy persons, handyman mostly. So it's mostly a male-dominated sort of a store, you know, mostly men frequent that store or, you know, it's pros or semi-pros that are looking for, you know, really hardcore hardware stuff, you know, it's big, it's, they have like doors and windows and plumbing pipes and it's like really, really big hardwares. And that's why I went there because I was helping my older daughter, um, and it's actually one of my favorite stores. It's like a, a store that I frequent a lot. You know, in my mail mode, I'm, I'm often going there looking for stuff. Uh, I'm sort of as one of the my hobbies is like like mis Mister or Miss Fix It around the house. I'm sort of like a handy person. And uh, so my daughter came to me a while back, uh, asked me if she wanted to, uh, me to put a kitchen in for her. So I agreed to. She's been living in this apartment. Uh, for the last six months and without a kitchen, so I don't know how she could survive that. So the landlord promised her something and unfortunately didn't come through, so I've been helping her out with that. 
Well, anyway, so I, we started uh, co uh, last week, and then uh, we needed this big piece, piece of hardware. It's like a counter, you know, to finish the cabinetry as a top where you put the sink. Um, so I went to this place, and I was surprised, you know, going in female mode. It's the first time I've ever been to this store, and I couldn't believe, like, the difference in the way it was treated. Uh, everybody was just doting on me. Um, and I passed really well, and it was always, it's always great when you're, you know, feel like you're doing well, because I don't always feel like I'm, you know, doing very well out there, depending upon how I feel, or what I'm wearing, or I, I'm not quite sure what it is, you know, from time to time, from day to day it happens, and, and I'm sure a lot of, um, a lot of you girls out there experience this too, where some days, you know, you're, you feel like you're doing really well, and other days it's like, um, you know, you feel like you're just being read left and right, and so I, that, I got that actually a couple of weeks ago. I was out, and um, and I don't know. I don't know if it was because I was sick at the time and wasn't feeling well, and you know what I was wearing, <coughs> excuse me, or whatever. But I wasn't um, doing too well. But I've been out so many times where I just don't let it bother me. You know, I just don't let it bother me but I just make a note kind of like like what's working for me and what doesn't and uh, but today <coughs> sorry today I was really doing well today and uh, I still have this cold it's still the residual effect of it still trying to uh, get out some phlegm and stuff um, but I was at the store and uh, right away I, I felt like there was this sales salespeople at a salesman uh, offered offered to help me you know and um, I let him know I was interested in uh, this big counter it's like a big six foot slab of uh, wood uh, finished with this Formica and it was heavy so I says well gee I need like a one of those wheelie things you know in order to cart it out of the store so oh, no problem I'll get it for you so he ran off and got this wagon to put this piece of uh, wood on and uh, so then I was ready to kind of like take off with it as I would and he says oh don't worry I'll, I'll wheel that to the cash register and uh, you know other people like very uh, very willing to offer their help to me but I thought that was pretty interesting that uh, you know that um, you know in female mode that uh, you treat it so differently especially when you go to a store like that and it's typically a, a male kind of dominated store so that was surprising, and um, you know, I was happy that I actually was very pleased that I found something really just perfect for for my daughter's kitchen, and uh, so I'll continue to tackle that uh, probably next weekend, next couple weekends or so. We'll we'll continue with that. Um, other than that, uh, I'm doing really well. Um, the thermage treatment that I spoke about, I think that's. You know my skin, and I've been using like stuff creams on my skin, anti wrinkle creams, and uh, my skin's been looking a little bit better. Um, and my uh, my hair also, I've been making that grow a little bit longer, trying to get that to grow out a little bit. And I, I kind of tie it up when I'm at work. I, I tie it up, tie it back, so it looks more a little more masculine. Um, yeah, also, while I was in Long Island, uh, we had a chance to go to the beach, so again, I had, this summer really, I've had quite a few, um, you know, beach experiences, you know, just being out there wearing a bathing suit, and uh, so that felt really good. Uh, as a matter of fact, the last, well, next to the last day, um, I actually met somebody, uh, you know, got into a conversation with somebody on the beach, and... Uh, and they were, um, you know, I really don't think they blinked an eye. You know, I was in my, I don't wear a, like a bikini, but it's it's more like a, it's a two-piece, what they call a tankini. And uh, maybe I'll post some pictures somewhere on the sites. But uh, I uh, uh, I did really well with this, uh, it's like a two-piece suit. It looks great on me. And uh, so I struck up a conversation with somebody, another a genetic female uh, on the beach and um, so that was that was pretty interesting you know just going to this 
uh, resort area and just, uh, you know, really being red uh, female, I think, you know, pretty much 99% of the time, 90% of the time, uh, we had a chance to go out to eat a few times and uh, so just um, going out and um, just being out a lot more and also thinking more about being full time too. That's kind of like I feel like that's the next step for me. Um, I'm not sure how Marianne feels about it. I think she has a lot of trepidation about it, but uh, we had we had a long conversation too while we were out there. And um, as a matter of fact, before I left, before I left for this vacation, the last day of work, I had a chance to speak to one of the people in in the employee assistance program for my agency. I work for a large. Uh, city agency and so I had a chance to speak to somebody there and surprisingly even though this person had been there a number of years I think she said like over 10 years or so uh, she never had a situation where they, you know she had to deal with something like that like a someone transitioning a trans person transitioning at work but she said she would talk to one of her colleagues or other colleagues there who might have had some experience and I, I just wanted to really just gather some information just some background information about what the protocol is uh, what the policy is and I'm sure they do have a policy uh, I know because it's a large you know government agency and most uh, even like a lot of smaller employers you know do have some sort of policy uh, dealing with the situation but so just wanted to just gather some information and do some research about this and just to see where uh, what the next step is with with that so I'll let you know how that goes and um, as a matter of fact I had a chance to speak to somebody uh, a week or so ago I mentioned it and they they said something about uh, oh you better you know really do your research about that better research that or talk to some of the other girls uh, this was a person that was part of a uh, sort of an online group and uh, so I went out and met them for a little while uh, one night and uh, so they said that uh, that the bathroom is a big issue but I was surprised to hear that 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 would be like the big the big issue uh, with transitioning at work and I haven't really heard much about that from uh, some of the other girls uh, out there or the fellows out there even but uh, I was just curious to know if, um, you know, for those of you who have done it at work, like what sort of, you know, situations uh, you've had, sort of issues you've had. Has it been the bathroom? Has that been the biggest issue, like the bathroom issue and so forth? Or, or what has it been? But I was just curious to know how other people have dealt with things like that. Um, so, but uh, like I said, I'm not quite ready. I don't think I'm quite ready to do it right now you know I, I think I um, want to as you know this person said he said you know do your research or talk to other people that's what I'd like to do is just to you know really talk to people about uh, who've done it and have had some experience and so I won't have to, I'm sure there'll be some surprises but hopefully there won't be too many surprises or disappointments even you know that's my biggest fear, I guess, is that it would be just a total disaster, you know, and, uh, you know, I just feel I have just too much of my time vested in this uh, organization. I work there. I mean, I have a pension coming after a few years. So, um, you know, I don't want to really jeopardize anything or just, you know, go from a situation that's you know, it's bearable type situation to a situation that's unbearable or really, really uncomfortable, disastrous. So, um, anyway, so I'm almost at 15 minutes, and that's what they allow now on YouTube, right? It's 15, so it went a little bit longer than I thought. But anyway, so for now, uh, I'll say goodbye, and I'll catch you the next time. Okay, everybody, bye bye.